in the last video I show you how to build an ADSB ground station and I show you mine and I show you some screen capture with the results and now it's almost one month after that uh, project and I will show you some results and I will update you some things. If we go to the Flight Tower website to the ADSB place we click to build a P-Aware ADSB receiver we can have the instructions to build it with a Raspberry Pi and a radio receiver. So if you follow these instructions, we will we'll end up with a ADSB ground station. In this picture, we will we see how it works. This is a Raspberry Pi with the radio module and the coaxial cable that fits the module from the antenna. This is an improvement that I made to my ground station since the last video, which is to optimize the antenna with the proper uh, length to, to match the wavelength used in the ADSB frequency. What we try to do is to get a quarter wavelength together with a ground plane, it will optimize the reception of this frequency. So this is the antenna that is uh, by default provided by this kind of uh, digital TV receivers, if we cut a surplus of the length, we end up with a 68 millimeter that is close to the quarter wavelength of this frequency of 1090 MHz. The metallic can is acting as a ground plane, which is like a mirror for the, for the uh, radio frequency, and this will act as a virtual dipole antenna. In my home, because outside the window there is a metallic part in the building, I didn't need to use the can, I just put the antenna over this metallic part which acts as a ground plane. By doing so, I increase the reception of the planes uh, by a few uh, hundreds of planes per day. In this website, we have other antennas which I didn't try to make, but I encourage you to try. Next, I will show you my profile page in flight aware where we see some statistics here we can see the aircraft reported per day all sites I only have one site for the moment so we see that more or less I report around 2,500 planes per day which is some more statistics the number of planes per hour during the last week the direction and distance of the planes I capture a, a histogram of the distances of the planes we see that the mostly the planes are captured uh, at less than 240 kilometer. Very few are at 300, 400 kilometer. And here I, there is my ranking. According to the number of planes, I'm in the position to around 2,000 in the global ranking. Okay, stop talking and let's go to see the feeder in real time. This is what my receiver is getting now. So this Europe, here there is Catalonia, Barcelona. This Belgium, this Brussels, here there is Liège. And the black point is where my ADSB station is located. The concentric circles are the distances to, to my location. This is nautic miles which uh, 100 nautic miles is a bit less than 200 kilometer, more or less. And of course, all the little plane figures that we see are planes that at this moment are flying over our over, over heads. If we click in show all tracks, we see the tracks of the plane that uh, were captured by my ADSB station. And the legend tells us the altitude with feet. So if we look at the planes, we can see that different shapes and sizes can tell us a bit uh, what kind of plane we are uh, detecting. And for instance, if we click at this plane, we can get the information about its uh, path, uh, Etc. Some pictures of the plane, some previous history. 
Of course, this is not received directly from the plane, but uh, this goes to the database of flight aware and tells us the information that is publicly accessible. This morning, I was checking this FIDA, as I do very often, and I saw some strange plane which has like a triangular shape. I click on it, and I saw this. It says, this flight is restricted from public view. I say, what the hell, why I cannot see this flight? And then I learned that Flight Aware filters the data from some planes because of security reason, mainly military planes, presentation planes, etc. So of course I want to see these planes. I made a bit of research, and I found another community which is called ADSB Exchange, which follows the same principle as Flight Aware. But in this case, they made available all the data that the users provide to the platform, including the military and the presidential and other planes that are filtered by the other platform. So what I did is to go immediately to this interface of ADSB Exchange. I cannot show you here now because it was this morning, so it's not here anymore, the plane. I clicked the same plane, and it gave me the information of the tail number and all the, it gave me pictures, etc. Because I cannot show you in the map, I went to this database in which I can tell you the plane was a basic 51, which belongs to the Belgian air component, which is the uh, operated by the Belgian army. And the plane is this, we can see here. So, um, summarizing, I updated what has been the last month of operation of my ADSB ground station and doing some modifications to the feeder that is working in my Raspberry Pi, mainly installing the software that is provided by ADSB Exchange. I'm able to detect military and other interesting planes. All this allows me still to feed the Flight Aware uh, platform, so it's not incompatible. I'm feeding my data both to Flight Aware and to ADSB Exchange. So I hope this was useful or interesting. See you next time. Bye.